We're going to start our bathroom by constructing two walls, uh, the corner, the back plumbing wall, and this side wall, because that will help us locate the accessible rails or the grab rails around the toilet. And this is a more or less completed drawing. And um, I always want to remind you that we've got this sample to remind us of all the standards. So now we're going to just, and I'm going to keep that one open on my desktop also. I'm going to go to level two of my drawing and I'm going to pick a location. In the case that I have done this project, it's in this little quadrant here. And we're going to draw our first two walls. So I'm going to grab the wall tool and I'm going to select a generic eight inch wall. That's a deep wall um, that I can run the plumbing through. And I'm going to place that vertically here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm not sitting over my steel because I'm going to need to run plumbing through it. So I'm going to just come in front of that a little bit and draw a wall section. And actually then we can think about drawing that other wall actually right on the steel because we're not pla placing anything through, through the floor section. So let's pick a smaller wall and we'll grab a interior wall. And I'll just line that up and move it over this way. Now, once again, I want to just kind of review the methodology or the thinking here. The reason we're doing this, these two walls, is because this is a critical location where the grab rails are going to be placed in that corner because we have an alcove setting. And the length or the width of this is going to be determined by this ADA, or what they call an alcove stall. And the placement of our fixtures will determine the length of this wall, making sure we have all the necessary clearances as we move forward. So we've constructed those two walls and our next step will be to place the water closets and possibly the sink. But let's just do the water closets first. So um, if you haven't already, you'll want to um, load those in. So if I go to, uh, what is it, insert, load family, we're going to look for toilets and that's off on another screen. So I need to drag it on and I'm going to go out to my Imperial Library and I'm going to look for plumbing and in architectural I should be able to find um, the fixtures and we're going to look for water closets and we're going to grab a, uh, a wall hung 3D. We can substitute this later on just by picking up one that we've gotten off the internet as a BIM model or a products brochure. So we're going to make sure we, we um, open that and load it in. And once we have it in, we can go ahead and place our toilet. So I'm going to go to Component, Place a Component. Um, I'm going to have to dig down here to find it now. And I think it's the 15-inch seat height is the ADA. We'll come back and correct that if it's not. And there's usually a placement of this toilet to be a certain distance off the wall. And I'm going to just, I'm going to guess right now and just place it. And then I'm going to go ahead and place another one because we know we need two toilets. And our parti when we place our partitions, it's going to give us some assistance on the locating of that. The other thing we want along our wall is the sink system. And if I, let me just close this off and see if I can show you where I grabbed a sink. I grabbed a sink by going um, to the Bradley site and picking an ADA sink. And I might have picked this one here. Um, let's see if that has a BIM component to it. We'll go into it. So I'm at the Bradley Corp products. And if you go down here, you'll notice that they have BIM or Revit components. You can select them, download them. They'll come in as a zip file. The important thing about this this um, ADA rated uh, sink or, or you know uh, conforming sink is that it has this protection underneath for the hot and cold plumbing, which is one of the requirements uh, for for uh, restrooms that are ADA um, code approved that meet the requirements. So anyway, I've already gone ahead and imported that. So we'll go back to my Revit document and we'll grab that component. So I'm going to look now for a sink. It 
there's the sink that I have selected. Now it's not correctly loaded. There was an error with this one, but that's it's not going to cause us a big problem. So I'm just going to set it here for now and um, rotate it around. And I notice it's not it's not actually attaching to the wall, so that might be one of the problems with it. But this is a um, an MEP component, so it has a lot of sophistication to it as far as it locates the supply of hot and cold water, where the drain goes, um, the the uh, the other requirements. And in some cases, since these might have sensors for um, uh, making the water flow, it might have a voltage requirement also for it. So there's power power supply to it. So these are just placed just to get us started, just to start roughing out our ideas. The next thing we need are our grab rails. And one of the, um, if we look at the the idea or the concept behind grab rails, they're very precisely placed around the uh, water closet. And so what we, what we can do to kind of help simplify that process is we can load a fully configured grab rail uh, system. Um, that can fit into this corner condition. So by that I mean if I was to, I'm going to just close this off a minute and I want to go to I'm going to revitcity.com downloads. You have to sign into this. But here's the arrangement of grab rails that will fit in that setting. So all of the, the length, this is a 42 and a 36 inch. So all of these things can be created as a single unit. So you can download it as a family and then import it into your file. So in that case, once again, I've already done that. So we're going to go to level two again, and we're going to place that component. And I'll provide that one on the site, so you maybe don't even have to go out to out to Revit or out to um, the web to look for it. And then we're going to look for those grab rails. This is the one I've, I loaded another one at one time, but you can see this one has a little vertical element. So I'm going to grab that, drag it in, and I'm going to right away just, just try to manipulate it so that it's got the right orientation. So you can see how the longer bar needs to be on that wall. All right, and now we have to figure out how to get that into position. So I'm going to drag this down, grab that, oops, let's just zoom in here and move that over till we get aligned with that point there. Let me try that one more time. There we go. So now we have to do some adjustments. We'll look at some ADA uh, requirements for the positioning of this toilet with respect to these grab rails. We'll pick that up in the next video. I think that's enough to, and what we could do is actually just close this out by um, swapping over to a 3D view of this. So there we have, this is one I've already created, so it's a little bit of cheating, but I've got a crop box around it. But uh, this is where we'll finish this off. And the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and place our partitions in the bathroom.